You know, Hades started out in this film as a woman in the first script. Hades was a woman, then it was a woman, then it was a man, you know, and then it became eventually that it was Ray Fiennes. You depend on their love. I've only learned to live on their fear, their pain. So I go to New York, I go and meet Ray Fiennes, and I start telling him about the movie, and he was not talking, and he was just like, feeling the stuff and trying to find the physicality. I could see him like sort of like slouching in his chair and then being like, okay, maybe if he's lived thousands of years in the underworld, so he's hurt and wounded. We didn't want someone that felt like he was at the peak of his strength. We wanted someone who was physically weak and physically beaten down. But when you looked into his eyes, you saw an intensity and a rage and a strength. And that's Ray Fiennes. I am Hades. I've always loved the Greek myths. Um, I thought Hades was interesting, uh, the relationship with Zeus, the sort of the brother, the jealous brother. You will kneel before me and beg for mercy. You're a fool. You have no understanding of my power, of my child. He lives in the underworld, and so he's affected by his environment. So he has the lank, grayish hair, which we made to fall into his costume, so that from the back you couldn't tell which was his head and which was his costume. They should all run into one. The hair is matted and long and the beard is long. And there are all, the, all the male gods have armor, but his armor is corrupted and corroded by water and residue. I mean, it's been, it's rotting armor, rotting metal. So what his armor is meant to look like is as though it's just the uh, remains, the vestiges of an old metal, iron perhaps, armor held together by, you know, bits of leather and now it's filthy and it's rotted and it's falling to pieces. Yeah, I just said to Lindy Hemming, I said, no, just imagine this, the kind of armor you pick up out of the ground. If, you know, we looked at photographs of archaeologically armor that's been dug up where the rust is, it's all been corroded and wasted. That was the idea. Where is this fearless legion? We wanted to give it an element of, uh, you know, of evilness and power that we decided would ultimately come from his cape. The whole wealth of things you can do to make special effects really kick ass now is, I think, extraordinary. So I think it'll leave the old one seeming a little bit primitive. So we have this big flowing cape that almost always looks like it's on fire, like the edges are burning. And then when he gets pissed, the cape comes to life and it spreads out. That's when you really have to hang on to your imagination, because you've got nothing else to hang on to except a big green screen. It's all technical. So you have to really hold in your head the moment in the scene that this shot will slot into. We obviously did a lot of, you know, plates that we matched move with motion control cameras and then scaled him and then tracked him back into the plates that we'd shot on the set. And I just did the scene today in the Citadel, but, you know, I saw the special effects, where it would go. I knew, I knew the moment, so I was quite quickly, I think, plugged back into what the moment was. This is the will of Zeus, the will of your father.